Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic in the Mighty Works of God series is Plenty in Famine, Part 2, and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 17, verses 7 to 9. Some time later the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Go at once to Zarephath in the region of Sidon and stay there. I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. The last day, we started meditating on the story of Elijah and how he escaped the effects of the famine by receiving and obeying divine instructions. Today, I want us to think about and meditate on another very mighty work of God. So, first, there was a famine. The Lord sent Elijah to a place where he provided bread and meat and water for him. After a while, while the famine was still on, the brook dried up. How could this happen? Was it not God that directed Elijah there? How then did the brook dry up? How dare it, right? Verse 8 says, The word of the Lord, the same word that brought him to the brook Cherith, came to him again and gave him directions to the next place that housed his supply. So the last day we spoke about the mighty work of divine direction. Today I would like us to meditate on the miracle of the ever-proceeding word. God didn't just speak once and leave Elijah to his faith. He continued to speak, to direct, to root, and to reroot. Could this be why Jesus, speaking in Matthew 4.4, 4, declared that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the Father? Notice the tense of proceeds, a continuous term. Imagine if Elijah had heard and obeyed only the first instruction and not heard or probably maybe ignored the second. He would have starved to death. Some people become slaves to their first instruction and will not leave their brook cherith. We must contend for the grace to always hear God, to not be unduly fixed on one instruction when more have come from the throne of grace. Like we discussed last week, it is possible to start with Jesus in your boat and then ignore his presence or throw him out. We must contend for the discipline and the ability to hear God per time. Elijah's life was dependent on listening to and obeying both instructions. Our lives are dependent on hearing and obeying the instructions that come from the throne of grace at every point. Elijah didn't get too familiar or comfortable with the brook. Immediately God said move, he did. We must obtain that grace to not get too comfortable with the places God has led us to, to sustain us. We must rather foreground the fact that God is both Lord and Master and that we are on his errands. When he says move, we must hear and we must obey. Our lives depend on it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we ask for your mercy. In your mercy, please cause us to hear you. We come against everything blocking or corrupting or obstructing our hearing. Please help us in the name of Jesus. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you. And bye.